Welcome back everyone, Kremlin Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboids. I'm starting in the menu, because those of you who were observant in the very last few frames of last episode might have noticed a zombie approaching the door. Um, so I didn't want to waste any time. So yeah, so there was a zombie. Yep, right there. Ooh, several of them. Of course, this also means I didn't get all the stuff put to get put away like I said I would. But um, I didn't want to do the zombie killing without you guys around. And this is a big building right there. I don't think I knew that. Is this guy coming this way? Yeah, he's just hanging out. Oh, somebody broke a window. Oh, somebody broke another window. That's annoying. And another window down here. Oh, this is our old house. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Break all the windows you want. Stupid door. Oh, he saw us now. Whoa, that wasn't good. I think I just got lucky there. Yep, thick skin just saved me. Got slight damage, but didn't actually get slight damage. Right, let's remove that. This was our other house. I forgot that we were coming back here to the other house to get stuff. I got so worried about the um, zombie situation that I forgot what we were doing. Let's just take this. We're gonna loot everything that we can. We're not gonna be able to fit everything, especially not in this bag, but. Move everything that we can. And we'll go check out that big building, which I think might just be a church, which, in which case it's not actually that helpful. But, um, you know, whatever. We'll give it a shot. Yep, that's it. Alright, that's all we can carry. That's the bathroom. <laughs> Can't run through there. Unless we wanted to Hulk out or Kool-Aid man out, depending on your preferences. Yeah, 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 I see ya. Are we just in this house? I'm not sure remembering. Where are we are? I think we're right here. I think this is the house we're in. This is not the house we're in. I think we're in the ho next house over. Nope, not that one. There you go. Yep, this is the one we're in. Although I don't think we have looted that house, so we should probably go back to it at some point. Oh, apparently we never opened that door. Alright, so let's put our meat patties away. Pork chops. Get thirsty. We'll take everything food related. Put it in the freeze refrigerator. Food. Where do all our water bottles go? There's one. I'm gonna put the vinegar in there too. I know it's not really food, but it's it's food like. All right, so in here, I guess we'll put all of our seeds since the game is already sorting it that way. I heard a zombie moan, by the way, which is not something I'm thrilled about. 
All right, so water, nail, I'll keep the nails, sheet, sponge, fork. Pretty much everything except for the hammer in here, I think. Move back over here. We'll put all of our books on the bookshelf. It's a novel concept. Novel, get it? Ah. Huh? Speed up. So still have that um, giant thing of water. For that guy. I think we'll be all right for now. I'll go do some more. Um, Looting, and maybe some some light pillaging. Oh, that's right. We wanted this screwdriver to level up. Let's check around the house real quick. I heard a zombie. We should check to see if that truck runs. Oh, there you are. These fall down. I'm trying to save this screwdriver, this screwdriver until it um, becomes something special, like that. Nimble screwdriver. I think that means it's quick. We're gonna check out that big building. We'll stop back at this house again on the way back to our house because we didn't get everything out of it. Oh, hello, zombies. I guess we have to deal with this. Yeah, it's a church. Excuse me. Oh man, I got the whole group. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, it's definitely faster. Look at that speed. That stab animation is much faster. Let's just clear out the glass and go in right here. Ooh, there's upstairs. So there's a parking lot too. Might be a good way to find a car. There's nothing up here. Churches are always look very impressive from the outside, but there's very often, oftentimes, not really any loot in them. Oh, that's outside. Not quite ready to go out there yet. Nothing there. Nothing there, yep. Nothing useful in the church. Oh, hello, zombies. Right, so this is a pretty sizable parking lot. There's almost certainly at least one of these cars that runs. Of course, there are a, is a <laughs> crap ton of zombies around here. Do I dare try and break these groups apart and stab them to death? I think I might dare. Oh, 
Apparently, um... Pushing is very noisy, it seems. Oh, okay. Come on, lady. One of them got separated, but... Didn't want to come right at me, unfortunately, so... Just wanted to do. Whoop, oh, car there. What did it get? Nimble screwdriver of extinction. I would guess extinction is probably extra damage of some variety. I got really lucky not to get bitten there, by the way. There's a couple of times that the animation, the Zombie animation had basically finished. What's this community down here with the large fence? Come on. Sorry, that one car just kind of hanging out in the middle of the road like that. I wonder if it's supposed to be like a wreck or something? I think I read that they added wrecks to this build, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure that's what they meant. Food, please. Defrost that and then eat it. Pistol, huh? I already have a pistol, don't I? Pretty sure I do. Man, two bottles of red wine. By Zomboid standards, these guys are big boozers. Or maybe they're actually not big boozers because they're in a situation where they didn't drink their wine. They still have it. Not sure how you want to break that down. I can make I can see arguments made either direction. And yes, I know that's not big boozer by normal people standards. Having two bottles of wine in your house is completely reasonable. It's just usually you find zero in Zomboid. Paper clip. Killers are probably a good idea. Should probably start heading back too, especially since we have to stop off and um, the screwdriver, huh? Stop off and loot what's ever left in that house.
Metal bar. I assume that's useful for something, so we'll take it. Waiting for that burger to not be frozen anymore. Alright, that one's done. Oh, hello. Man, I like this speedy one. i be sad when the speediness goes away. Do we want to try some of these cars? I feel like we should try. Even with all the zombies in the neighborhood. Pick up these car keys. That car's all rusty. Let's just try this little gremlin here. Hey, nice. This car does not seem to be in terribly good shape. Mostly just moving that car back into our general vicinity. Not really something we need at the moment because I have to go all the, run all the way back here. And empty out this house. Are you, yes, you're fresh. All right. I know you can eat things when they're um, when they haven't defrosted yet, but somebody and this could be a completely incorrect uh, piece of information that I was given, but somebody told me that it's better to wait until it has had a chance to thaw because of the nutrition values or something the way the game assigns them if that's completely wrong please correct me I don't like to continue to work under false information if I can avoid it alright that's everything from this house and it's the bathroom again there you go I really wish we had this this car's key so we could start the engine and just... Oh, that is not the button I wanted. Stabby, stabby. So it's not actually raining. It's just thundering nearby. I guess the, the rain is somewhere else. Oh, hello. Alright, since I don't think we looted this house, let's take a look at it since we're here. Mark it off our list since we're now neighbors. Yeah. Bleach. 
Uh, I already have tweezers. I guess I'll take another sheet. I think we've kind of reached the end of the sheet usefulness thing, unless we decide to move houses again, but... I don't know. Could be wrong. Another screwdriver. Man, we are all set screwdrivers. Where's the... Oh, there's the kitchen. I was like, I don't think we've been to the kitchen yet. Pot, saucepan. I'm gonna start putting those saucepans outside to catch water. Ooh, a lighter. Lots of bottles of water. Wow, two two more cooking pots. Gotta fill those up while we still have water. And another lighter and another cooking pot. That's a good house. Hello. Goodbye. Let's do a quick um, circle, make sure there's no zombies hanging out around our house. The windows got broken. We're good. Food goes in there. Is there food in this bag? Oh yeah. And yes, I'm putting the red wine in the refrigerator like a monster. What does this refrigerator hold 52? It's a very specific number. All right, also I was gonna put those saucepans outside. I suppose I could just fill them with water right now, but I just, this, this is, seems more entertaining to me. I mean, because right now we have the ability to fill them with water, so, <laughs> so it's silly that I'm doing that, but whatever. It's more fun. Alright, so I think I'm going to wrap up here today. I'm just uh, just going to fill up all this stuff and put all this junk away, and then I'll, uh, I'll pick it up next time after we do that. So I will see you guys later. Thanks so much for joining me.